All right, go woke, go broke. Or in the case of the Golden Globes, go woke and get no viewers. <laughs> so this is from CNBC, and this is this going to be a good video. It'll be short, but it'll be good because I'm going to compare the Golden Globes viewership to Trump's CPAC speech viewership. And Trump blows the Golden Globes out of the water. And the best part about it is the Golden Globes were just pretty much an entire show dedicated to Orange Man Bad. They still, they still have Trump living in their head rent free. Still to this day. Oh boy. Golden Globes viewership sinks to 13 year low as awards show loses two thirds of the audience. There's an article from CNBC. The key points say the 78th Golden Globes captured only 6.9 million viewers, a 63% drop from the 18.4 million who tuned into 2020's telecast, according to Nielsen data. It had the lowest rating ever in the key demographic of ages 18 to 49, 6.9 million viewers. I think like in one week, Steven Crowder, like Louder for Crowder gets more viewers. I think like one, one podcast of Joe Rogan gets more viewers. The last time the ceremony pulled in such tepid overall viewership was in 2008, when the show was morphed into a press conference because of a writer's strike. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. So ratings were not this low since 2008. The last time they were this low was 2008, when it was in press conference format, press conference format, save your money, Golden Globes, save your money, stop paying all these celebrities, and go back to a press conference court format. Same ratings, one, one tenth of the money spent. That's a great solution. At Golden Globes, hire me. I'll save you guys a bunch of cash. A bunch of cash. No need to pay all these uh, all these presenters and, and come up with all this stuff. Pay for all this stuff, all this broadcast stuff. Just do a press conference. Read the winners. Go home. Simple. Sunday's broadcast was marred by technical hiccups and overshadowed by scandal. As the Hollywood Foreign Press Association, which presents the awards, has been under heavy fire for its lack of black voters and reports of corruption. Go woke, lose viewers. Go woke, lose viewers. They just can't. They just can't do a, a show where they just highlight the movies, the films, and the TV shows, and just stop talking about all this woke SJW stuff. Stop talking about Orange Man Bad. Just stop it and just focus on the movies, the movies, the plots, the characters. What's so hard about that? What is so hard about that? is what CNBC says. Not even Tina Fey and Amy Poehler could have, could save Sunday's Golden Globes from sour ratings. On Tuesday, Nielsen data revealed that the 78th annual awards show put on by the Hollywood Foreign Press Association had captured only 6.9 million viewers, a 63% drop from the 18.4 million who tuned in to the 2020s telecast from, from 18.4 million to 6.9. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is bad. NBC, which inked a 60 million a year deal with the HFPA. The HFPA is the Foreign Press Association. Yeah, it's the Foreign Press Association. They inked a deal with the HFPA in 2018 for exclusive rights to the broadcast for eight years, maybe rethinking the ceremony's worth. Yeah, NBC, hit me up. Hit me up, NBC. I'll tell you guys what to do. I'll save you guys a ton of money. <laughs> I'll save you guys a ton of money. Just go back to press conference format. Or just do a show where you talk about the movies. How about that? Talk about the movies. Wouldn't that be something? So we get to, to a website called We Love Trump. Okay, there's a website called We Love Trump. Doesn't matter, the, the data is the same. The facts are the facts. The results are in President Trump's CPAC speech destroys Hollywood's, they say Hollyweirds, Hollyweirds Golden Globes in ratings. Did anyone know the Golden Globes were this past Sunday? I had no idea. I had no idea because I was watching Trump's speech. I had no idea and it seems many other Americans didn't either. But 31 million viewers did tune in for President Trump's highly anticipated CPAC speech. 31 million viewers to watch 
President Trump speak at a convention. <laughs> it beats out the Golden Globes, not by a million viewers, not by two, but by a boatload, 31 million minus, what is it, six points? How many viewers did they get? 6.9 million. <sighs> Talk about demolishing the Golden Globes. Jason D. Meister <laughs> tweeted, President Trump's speech at CPAC eclipsed 31 million live viewers on social media. President Trump's CPAC speech drew over 31 million views. Wow. Biden's national address got a whopping 38,000 views with comments turned off. Guess which one is said to have gotten the most votes of any American in history? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. One day, one day, we're going to get the truth one day, aren't we? You know, like, the, someone's going to tell us the truth to all of this, aren't they? I mean, maybe 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, maybe. I just can't take it. 31 million views for Trump on a CPAC speech. 38,000 views for a president's national address. 31 million, 38,000. 6.9 views, 6.9 million for the Golden Globes. Carl Becker said 31 million viewers for Donald Trump's CPAC speech. And that was just online. It was the real State of the Union address that Americans needed. Listen, after the chaos of January 6, not communicating to his base on Twitter and Trump being out of office for six weeks, 31 million people still watched Trump's speech yesterday. Unless someone else with Trump's gravitas comes along, he will be the 2020 nominee. How many people tuned into Hollywood's Golden Globes? A lowly 6.9 million viewers, guys. And that's the video. Hit that like button, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Check out Alexander's channel as well. Check out the Durant's channel. Go to the Durant shop. Pick up some merch. Pick up a magic mug. Mugs are great. This mug is full of coffee right now. So I'm being a little careful. That's the video. Take care.